On behalf of Mendior GK and parent company PrepQ, I welcome you to this session on current affairs. And as always, we will discuss exam oriented questions which can appear in some of the government exams or some of the MBA entrance exams. Uh, government exams like as, uh, the PO exam or the clerical exam, maybe SSC CGL or the Railway Recruitment Board exam or the LIC exam, any of these exams where current affairs matters and MBA entrance exams like the CMAT or the TISNET or even the SNAP. And once again, the focal point of these sessions will be current affairs, purely current affairs, nothing less, nothing more. The date today is 28th June 2019 and here is the first question for the day. When is the International Day Against Drug Abuse and Illicit Trafficking observed? The correct answer is 26th of June. So the International Day of Drug Abuse and Illicit Trafficking is observed on 26th of June every year and it has been designated as such by the United Nations. So it has been observed since 1989 and it was instituted by the General Assembly Resolution in 1987. The United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime has set a theme of 2019. The theme is Health for Justice and Justice for Health. So three things you need to know. International Day Against Drug Abuse and Illicit Trafficking, 26th of June. And this year the theme is Health for Justice, Justice for Health. The day has been observed since 1989. Next question. Lessons Life Taught Me Unknowingly is the autobiography of which veteran actor? The correct answer is Anupam Kher and actually had to be Anupam Kher. So this autobiography is still not released. It will be released in August 2019. And it takes a look at the life and times of Mr. Anupam Kher. The book will be published by Hay House and Penguin Random House. Anupam Kher is an Indian actor and former chairman of Film and Television Institute of India. He is also the recipient of two National Filmfare Awards, eight Filmfare Awards. He has appeared in over 500 films in several languages and many plays. He probably started his career as a theatre artist and he won the filmfare and the best actor for his performance in Saranj. It's a beautiful story. And next question, which state has stopped in the list of Niti Aayog's Health Index 2019 and the state is Kerala. So overall ranking Kerala has topped the list. Kerala is followed by Andhra Pradesh and Maharashtra. So these three, Kerala, AP and Maharashtra are the top three performing states on Niti Aayog's Health Index 2019 and UP and Bihar are the worst two performers in this segment. So basically Kerala with 74.01 points scored the top score while Uttar Pradesh with 28.61 points had the least score and you know as as we are discussing and talking about this there is a discussion about encephalitis which has been uh, you know which has been an issue in Bihar every year and right now also it has been in news just some additional information about Kerala it's a state on India's Malabar coast and has around 600 kilometers of shoreline known for beaches, backwaters, network of canals, western ghats and national parks uh, like the Periyar National Park and Venard Sanctuary and so on. The capital of Kerala is Thiruvananthapuram and the current chief minister is Pinarai Vijayan. And what kind of animals are found in Kerala? Kerala is known for elephants mostly. But even langur monkeys and tigers are found in national parks and wildlife sanctuaries of Kerala. Next question. Recently, the Council of Europe has restored which nation's voting rights? And the correct answer is Russia. 
so the first thing is why it was taken away so it was taken away because uh, russia had illegally annexed crimean peninsula and after that illegal annexation annexation is basically taking over a particular territory so once that happened uh, their voting rights were taken away and now uh, they were revoked in fact the assembly council of europe has voted in favor of restoring russia's voting rights so russia as a country is a transcontinental country in eastern europe and northern asia it's a huge country it's in fact uh, the largest country in the world and the capital is moscow the currency that is in use is russian ruble the current president is vladimir putin next question thanjavur ramamurthy who passed away recently was a noted mridangam exponent of which state now i hope all of you are aware of mridangam mridangam is basically a percussion instruments like the dholak now it's it's in appearance it looks similar to dholak but it's it's not dholak so thanjavur ramamurthy was an exponent of mridangam and he was a top grade artist in fact of uh, the all india radio and the name itself is a give away he belonged to tamil nadu so the name ramamurthy would suggest he belonged to tamil nadu so he has had the unique distinction of accompanying four generations of carnatic top singers and violin geniuses so from gopal krishna ayer up to ml vasant kumari he was also the recipient of kalai mamani award of the tamil nadu government so he was recently also honored with lifetime achievement award by the trichy carnatic museum because uh, musicians because he belonged to trichy so thanjavur ramamurthy an exponent of mrudangam or mrudang it is also known by the name of mrudang next which state government has decided to launch sarbat sehat bima yojana so sarbat sehat bima yojana can be launched in punjab so from july 2019 it will be launched and the scheme will provide an annual health care of rupees 5 lakh per family around 43 lakh families will be affected under this particular scheme and besides all government ex- uh, hospitals even 364 private hospitals in punjab have been empaneled where the beneficiaries would get secondary and tertiary care so it's not limited to government hospitals some 360 364 private hospitals also has been have been empaneled so the beneficiaries also include around 15 lakh families covered under pradhan mantri jan arogya yojana in the state and punjab the capital is chandigarh chief minister is amarendra singh and the governor is vp singh badnore next question who has recently been appointed as ib director so the ib director is currently mr arvind kumar so he is a senior ips officer and he has been now appointed as the director of ib intelligence bureau he is considered an expert hand on matters related to kashmir and obviously kashmir is one of the states on priority and top on the agenda of the current government samant kumar goyal is has been appointed as the new raw chief raw means research and analysis wing both are ips officers of 1984 batch mr arvind kumar will succeed rajiv jain and the term or the tenure of rajiv jain it uh, gets over on june 30th and similarly mr goel will take over from ak dhasmana whose tenure also is going to complete on 29th of june both mr jain and mr dhasmana were on extension next question flipkart's co-founder binny bansal sold his equity shares valued at us dollar 76 million to which company flipkart has been taken over by walmart so the correct answer in this case has to be walmart and he sto- he sold around 54 lakh of his equity 
shares whose valuation turned out to be 76 million dollars and he sold it to FIT Holdings and which is basically one of the Walmarts, Walmarts group company. Uh, Walmart is headquartered is in Arkansas, United States. Benny Bansal, he is the co-founder of Flipkart and uh, he is continuing with Flipkart after the Walmart takeover as uh, probably the head, the chief. The other co-founder, Mr. Sachin Bansal, he exited Flipkart when Walmart bought a controlling stake for around 16 billion dollars and Mr. Binney is leading its management team as of now. Next question. The World Bank recently approved US dollar 147 million loan to which state? So the World Bank has recently approved a 147 million dollar loan to Jharkhand. So it's a tripartite agreement signed between Indian government, the Jharkhand government and the World Bank. It will, this loan is to improve the management capacity of urban local bodies in the state of Jharkhand. The capital of Jharkhand is Ranchi and the chief minister as of now is Raghubar Das. Next question. Mohammad Ghazani was elected the president of which country? He was elected the president of Mauritiana. So Mauritiana officially known as the Islamic Republic of Mauritiana is a country in Northwest Africa. It is the 11th largest sovereign state in Africa and its capital is Nokchot. N-O-U-A-K-C-H-O-T-T. So with this we have reached the question of the day today and the first question is when do we observe the international day against drug abuse and illegal trafficking and the second question recently the council of Europe has revoked the voting rights of which nation so you can answer both these questions in the comment section given below and I will end my session here that's all for today thank you very much.